Hallelujah. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening. My beloved in the Lord, my brothers and sisters, we are here once more. Good evening. It's your sister Mafutaya Nzoi here for our summary. Here for our, our day summary. Today is, um, is Thursday, Thursday the 16th and we are here once more to summarize what the Lord had given us during the day. So here we are again. I'm just going to ask once more for uh some time for a couple of minutes a, a few moments for me to be able to share to share the word to share the word so that we can join and those that will join us later will be able to join later we thank the lord he is wonderful we glorify his name we magnify the lord of lord the king of king our god is excellent glory be to him glory be to the lord glory be to almighty hallelujah my brothers in the lord my sisters in the lord our god is good he's been marvelous to us once more he has he has he has enlightened he has kept the fire going he has kept the fire going because because he wants us to see him on that day when he comes to collect his wife on that day when he comes to collect his church he wants each and every single one of of us to be present he wants all his children those that he sacrificed his life he wants each and every single one of us to be there that's why he keeps bringing us the word that's why he keeps bringing us the reminder that's why he keeps talking to us hallelujah we praise the lord we praise the lord just take a few minutes to share just take a few minutes to share the word so we are able to share what we have with one another with everybody else the lord is good the lord is good his works are marvelous yes he is the alpha he is the omega yes he's the beginning and he's the end there is no one else but him we glorify his name we magnify the lord of lord the king of king hallelujah you are my lord hallelujah glory be to you O lord we live this moment in your hand father speak to us hallelujah speak to us oh lord lead us in your path hallelujah may the holy spirit speak in us may the holy spirit speak to us hallelujah we give you glory oh lord we give you glory we magnify your name we exalt you king of king that i am that i am there is no one else but you glory be to you glory be to you hallelujah hallelujah king of king hallelujah hallelujah lord i glory you lord i magnify you there is no one else but you receive the glory receive the glory father we exalt you O lord we exalt you O lord there is no one else but you hallelujah be glorified hallelujah father lord before your throne hallelujah thank you for this light that you have kept on thank you for the fire that you have kept going thank you O lord may you use me as your instrument let the message that you gave to your servant let the message you gave my lord hallelujah to your shepherd hallelujah be 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 translated be given in the same manner with the same fire be given with the same ribo shake hallelujah we give you glory Holy Spirit, manifest yourself. Holy Spirit, manifest yourself. May you lead me. May you lead me. Leke seke, Baba, hallelujah. Glory be to you. Glory be to you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. We give God the glory. We magnify his name. We exalt him for his wonderful. The day's message was wow, wow, wow. The Lord had spoken. The Lord has spoken. Yes, he had spoken spoken to us and and i pray that that that, that same fire key is kept on and i'm able to deliver hallelujah glory be to him glory be to him so to we are continuing on the same message that we've been give him the same title but the man of god said that he's just added he's just added a couple of phrases in front he's just added a couple of things for us to think about to to add on to what we're already learning so the message the title for today's summary is a perfect total and permanent victory a perfect total and permanent victory so uh, our victory we're still speaking about the victory we're still speaking about being champions so our victory needs to be permanent 
at times at times we we are victorious in certain things but on other areas of our life we are failing or we are not quite as successful at times the the the, the our health is lacking or at times uh, our finances is lacking and the Bible said that he has blessed us in all sorts, with all sorts of blessing, which means it's everything, in everything, in everything that we have, the Lord has blessed us and we need to be richly, richly in everything, in all domain of our life, in all areas of our life, we need to live as though those that have it all, because we do have it all through Christ. He gave up his life for us to have it all. Upon the cross, he said it is finished all is done it is completed it is accomplished upon the cross so we need to live we should be living as those that have everything it says it said, that your cup will be filled and it will overflow yes our cup needs to be fulfilled filled up to the maximum and 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 for the anointing and for the blessing to be overflowing to be spilling out hallelujah we are we we our victory needs to be permanent and it needs to be total total meaning needs to be to the fullest uh, permanent means to be stable ongoing never failing never up and down we are always always on a high hallelujah always victorious always conquering in yes we will go through trials and tribulation yes we will see things that 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 will for some people, we need to see it in another perspective that for those people, we will make them fail. For, for us, we will overcome those things. We will step over those things. We will walk as champions and we will win and we will overcome. Hallelujah. 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 So last, last, last week, we spoke about uh, 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 the victory. We spoke about how we can be victorious. We spoke about all of those things. But today, we want that victory to remain remain permanent today we want that victory to be completely full today we want to speak about that victory being complete the complete victory perfect the perfect total permanent victory it has to be perfect because our god is perfect the victory that we have has to be perfect because our lord is perfect there was no blemish on him there was nothing there was no there was no you can't say there was a mistake in him there was no error in our god so we are also called to the perfection of christ like uh, uh, apostle paul tells us hallelujah we have to strive to be perfect we have to we have to walk we are running a race and that victory the word victory is victory is you have won you have overcome you have accomplished hallelujah uh, there's there's no failure yes lord yes so sorry sorry about my connection ha the devil is a liar he will not stop me he will not he will not he will not stop in the name of jesus hallelujah let us continue so we're talking about a perfect and total permanent victory in the lord hallelujah hallelujah there must be two dimensions yes in our victory we have to look at it with in two dimensions yes there's there's the invisible part there's the invisible part the part that is done in secret and that's the part of prayer when you when you fast the bible says when you fast let not everybody know that you are fasting don't put a sad face on when you're fasting no that's the invisible part you are hidden hallelujah it's the, the bit that you you do when you go to the mountain yes it's the bit that you do when you're laying on the ground no one can see you that's the invisible it's when you're doing your preparation it's like you're going out and you have to prepare you would get dressed you would you would clean clean yourself you would wash yourself you would put on nice clothes before you step out hallelujah it's the same thing in life our life has two dimensions we have the spiritual side and the physical side we have the invisible side and the visible side hallelujah and we have to we have to see we see this in, in, in the story of Joshua and Moses the one we read last week we read that when when Moses was went up to the mountain he had his arms up and he was in prayer but uh, Joshua was on the ground was on, on on the ground he he went to battle he went to the battlefield and as as Moses lifted his hands they were victorious but when Moses got tired and his hands went down the the Amaleks overtook them the Amaleks were defeating them 
the Amaleks would, would beat them. But when Moses put his arms up, they would win. And, and, and the man of God, we read, hallelujah. We read, yes, that when, 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 uh, when Moses was tired, yes, he had, uh, he had some helpers, yes. He had some helpers who were, who were there, who were there to support him. Aaron and you were there to help lift his arms when Moses was tired. So, in life, we have those that are there to help us, to support us, are there to, to, to help us in this race we are running, are there to encourage us. They will say, carry on. The way that you are going is correct. Carry on. The words that you are preaching is correct. Carry on. We have those that are there to support us, like Aaron and U. That's why, my brothers and sisters, we have to be willing. We have to be accepting. We have to be ready to support. Hallelujah. To support the, 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 the servants of the Lord, whether it be in your church, the servants of the Lord in your life, we have to be able to support them. We have to be able to hold up their hands. Yes, at times they get tired. At times this work that they do is very hard. They need the support of Aaron and U. They need the support. Hallelujah. And we have to be able, we have to be willing to support. We have to be willing to support the servants of God. We have to be willing to support our pastors our elders hallelujah we have to be able to support the evangelists the prophets the men of god in your family the women of god in in, in your life sorry the one that the lord has placed in your life ha, moses had iron and ooh and joshua had the army of israel to support when they went to battle and the bible tells us that the the, ha, the battle when they overcame the victory was not be, was not for moses the victory was not for Joshua but it was for the children of Israel but it was for the children of Israel so the victory the victory that we obtain as a church is for the church it's not for the pastor what we do in intercession in praying what we do in supporting whether it be financially whether it be a through prayer or just general support of word of encouragement of advice my beloved in the Lord is for the glory of God hallelujah it's for the glory of God yes it's for the glory of God hallelujah it's for the glory of God it's not for that one person that you see in front yes Moses was not seen no when you are intercessing for the servant when you are intercessing hallelujah for, for the church it's not seen they only see those that are in front like 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 Joshua ha ha Joshua went to battle. The Amaleks only saw Joshua. They did not see what Moses was doing. So your prayer, my beloved in the Lord, your prayer, my brothers and sisters, is done in secret. Yet there's two battles. There's the battle that is done in secret and the battle that is done in front. Hallelujah. Mm, Moses was up in the mountain in secret. The Amaleks could not see him. The Amaleks could not see him, but they could see Joshua, ha, ha, but they saw Joshua when Moses was reke, reke, was up on the mountain with his arms up. Joshua, they did not know what was happening. They said, we've overcome this boy. We have overcome this army. But how comes, how comes he's still waking up? How come he's still able to stand up? How come, hey, reke, they don't know what's happening on that mountain. They don't know what you were doing last night. They don't know that you were preparing your day that you prepared your day in secret that you prepared your day reba sheke baba with your god hallelujah hallelujah rebo sheke baba hallelujah we have to learn to prepare <laughs> what moses was doing was the preparation yes what moses was doing rebo sheke baba was the behind the scene my brothers in the lord my sisters in the lord hallelujah you know when we watch movies sometimes the 
movies they have they have the the, the the blunders I think they're called they have their mistakes that they've made and they show us so what happens behind the scene there's two sides there's the side that is in front yes you see me as you see me but behind me rebel shake behind me rubber shake baba there's a team yes ha there's a team yeah baba shake there's a moses you see me joshua in front yes you see me with my gun yes but behind the rekebe shake up on that mountain there's a moses yes there's a moses intercessing there's a moses who's intercessing rebel shake baba hallelujah yakaka Shake. My brothers and sisters, we have to learn from every story in the Bible, from every situation, and learn to apply it in our life. What I have learned, Rebel Shake, is that I have to prepare. Number one, I have to prepare. In prayer, Reba Sheke Baba, hallelujah. I have to learn to prepare. I have to learn to prepare. Yes, and, and there are two sides. Yes, there's the invisible side. And my preparation is done in prayer. And my preparation is done in secret. My preparation is done behind the doors. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yikababa sheke. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yenda kaba sheke. Ha, ha, ha. Yikaba sheke. We shall go, hallelujah. Let's go in the scripture, yes. Let's go into the scripture. The book of John, chapter 19. Let's go to the scripture. The book of John, chapter 19. And and it's verse 30 that we read. Yes, this is where our confirmation for a title is. This is where Rebo Shaker we drew it. Yes, my Bible says, so when Jesus had received the sour grape, this is Jesus upon the cross. This is Jesus crucified. And, and uh, we are getting to the end. <laughs> we are getting to the end. And, and, and this is where uh, is John chapter 19 verse 30. Ha, Jesus, uh, it says, verse 30, so when Jesus had received the sour grapes, the sour wine, sorry, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And bowling, bowing his head down, he gave up the spirit. So his last word it was it is finished he said it was finished it is done it is completed it is accomplished it is it is I, I don't know what other word to use my brothers and sisters it is done it is finished my Bible said it is finished Her other interpretations say it is it has been accomplished it is it is done so because it is done upon the cross it was done my victory has already been accomplished. My victory is permanent. It's a perfect. It's a total victory. Because, because he that had no blemish. Because he that had no, no, no mistake. That, hmm, did it upon the cross. Yes. He paid the debt. Hmm. The man of God told us the story of the widow. Of the widow of Samaritan, who, 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 her husband, her husband had, her husband had, her husband had borrowed so much money, had borrowed so much things, and the debtors came to collect his sons so that they can become slaves. Who? So the, the widow cried out to, 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 to the prophet, to the servant of God. Who was able to give her a solution? Now, 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 the man of God told us that it for our in our case, our debt has already pay, been paid by Christ. So, so, so that side, the dark side, the devil cannot come and reclaim anything because we do not owe anything. We do not owe anything. It was already paid. Jesus has paid everything upon the cross. He said it was finish that means every aspect of your life has already been paid for hallelujah there's nothing for you to pay it's now for you left to enjoy it's now for you left to enjoy 
It's not for you left to enjoy. Reba Sheke. It is done. It has been accomplished. It is done. Rete ke Sheke. Baba. Hallelujah. You are not paying for, 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 for an ancestor's mistake. No. No. You, you, are, you have to say to yourself, I will not pay yeah, 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 for my mother's mistake. No. I have nothing to do with them. I am, I am the daughter of Christ. I am the son of Christ. And he paid for my debt. Ha, he paid. He cleared. Ha, my brothers and sisters, you know when you have the bailiff coming to you. They come to take the most expensive things. They come to take all, what they, they know they can sell for as much money as possible. So they can, they can recuperate what they have lost. Now, when, 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 when the devil comes, he wants to take the, the smartest thing out of you. He wants to, he wants to bring down whatever will bring you the most pain. But my Bible said, it is finished, it is done. Upon the cross, I have no debts that I owe. No. Hmm. Ha, me, I, have, I owe nobody no debts. Yes. I owe no debts. Say to yourself. Um, say you have to proclaim it. You have to say it out loud. We have to be able to pronounce it. We have to be able to say it. I owe no debts. Jesus paid for my debt. Hallelujah. Jesus paid for my debt upon the cross. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I'm not going to pay for Abraham's mistake. No, I am not going to pay for Adam's mistake. No, ha, they were before Christ. That's their era. They already lived. They already lived that time. My time is after Christ. My time is after Christ and my debt was cleared. I live through grace. Yes, I live through grace. Yes, I live through grace. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Yes, um, this book of Hebrews, the man of God told us, uh, is a book of comparisons. It's a book that compares, that shows us that what we have in Christ is greater than what we had in the prophet, in the, in, in the Old Testament. What we have in Christ is greater than what we had in the law. Mm, our salvation in Christ is is greater is is a better is an even even greater salvation the bible says an even greater salvation in christ than it was in the law yes 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 ha, this book compares compares uh, moses to christ compares joshua compares all the big names to christ and all that they did was nothing compared to what christ did yeah ha, ha. it compares the lamb that was slaughtered upon the uh, upon the altars the lamb that was sacrificed to the lamb himself, to the lamb himself, the ayan reke sheke, my Jesus, the living God, ye kaba sheke, he compares, ye kaba sheke, all that we have in Christ is much, much, much better. Much, much, much better than what's in the world. The priest that is Christ himself, the high priest, the high, high, high priest himself, Christ, is better than the priest that, that was used in the Old Testament. The, the one that could only go into sanctuary once a year. Ho, ho, ho. Once a year, can you imagine? Only go to the presence of the Lord once a year. And, and the man of God reminded us that at times, some things that we say, some prayers that we do uh, are not correct to us that are in Christ now. Because we have Christ inside of us. They, they were with Christ. God was with them. Emmanuel, he was with them. He was, he was not inside of them. But we, we are the, 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 the Rekashik. We have Christ inside of us. We he 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 we cannot say, uh, 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 Holy Spirit come down on us. No, he is uh, inside of us. We are of the new Rebbe Sheke, Baba. Hallelujah. Yes. 
He's inside of us. He's not from the outside looking in. No. He's inside of us looking out. If we use his eyes, because he's inside of us looking out, we'll see the world the way he sees it. Yeah. If we knew who we were, if we knew how God sees everything, we will not be walking the way we do. We will not be behaving the way we do. Because through his eyes he sees us already reaching the, the, the end point through his eyes he sees us we have already already reached we are already there we are winners we are champions and we have to look at ourselves the same way we have to see our life in the same manner we have to hallelujah hmm. let's read the book of Hebrews yes Hebrews chapter 7 Hebrews chapter 7 verse 18. Yes. Ha, the Bible says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 18. My Bible says. For on one hand. There is an annulling of the former commandments. Yes. There's an annulling. So there's an ending. There's a stopping. There's, a, there's, a, there's a, an erasing of the former. The former being the, the one that was before. Whatever was before Christ came. Uh, there's an annulling of the former commandments. Because of its weakness. So if, if, if the former commandment was perfect, there would not have been a need for Christ to come. For Christ to die on the cross. There would have not been a need for Christ to rise up. There would have not been a need for the cross. No. But because there was mistakes, because in the former commandment, it was not perfect. He had some blemishes. He had some errors. Where they may say, my Bible says, for on the one hand, there is an annulling of the former commandment because of its weakness and unprofitableness. Hey. Verse 19, for the law made nothing perfect. Ha! The law, ha, so those that live by the law, I'm sorry, my beloved. Those that live by the law, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Bible says, ha, 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 the law made nothing perfect. Hmm. On the other hand, there was a bringing in of a better hope. Yes, hallelujah. Through which... We draw near to God. So the law did not help us get close to God. The law only helped one person see the presence. The law only helped one person, which was the high priest. Only one person and once a year to go before the Lord. The law, the law prevented us to enter through that, through the tabernacle. The law stopped us in the courtyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. The law ha, did not allow us yeah, to speak in tongues. Arabe say hallelujah. The law stopped us in the courtyard. But in Christ, we have received the hope. In Christ, ha, we have received grace to enter at any time. Hey, not just once a year. My brain take it. I say, not just once a year, I enter, mm, I remain, yes, I dwell, I abide in the presence of the Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah, mm, 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 mm. none was perfect, only Jesus, none was perfect, none was perfect, ah, let's, let's, let's get rid of these old habits that we have hey let's get rid of these old habits see we are no longer entering into the tabernacle he, he abides we are in the in the midst of his presence he's within us all i have to do hey abba papa and he hears me yeke yeke baba all i have to say is he complete he has accomplished it all yeke baba sheke all i have to do is throw myself on the floor rebo sheke baba he is there 
there, even if I'm walking in the street, I say, Baba, 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 and he says, yes, my daughter, I don't need to go to a certain building. I don't need to go in a certain room. I don't need to find a certain mountain. No, he is here. Yes, he is here. He is here. Yes, he is with me. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, yes, he is here. Ah, yes, my God, my God, yes. My God, yes, he is here. Yes, yeah, Agaraka. God, yes, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, we remain. We remain. Let's remove that old mentality. Let's remove those old mindset that we say we are entering in the present. I know it's gonna be it's gonna take us some time. I know it's gonna be hard, but no. Let let, let us just let's just build give us learn from these new habits. Yes. Learn from these new habits. I have forced ourselves these new habits. Yes. I do not enter in the presence of the Lord. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. My body is the temple. I am, I am, I am, I am. My body is the temple. I am, I am, I am, I am. Ha, 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 ha. I am. I am the temple of the living God. I am the temple in the living God. He abides in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He is wonderful, my beloved. He is wonderful, my brothers and sisters. This God, this God is mighty. This wonderful God. He is excellent. His excellent his salvation is reba shake baba his salvation is in the kabareke shake hallelujah oh thank you god oh thank you god yes 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 hey kaba shake his presence yes we are always in his presence yes we have to remind ourselves huh we are always in his presence that's what should make us yes behave differently yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Knowing that God is always with me, there are certain things I cannot do. Hey, God is there. God is there. Oh, God is there. God is with me. I can't. I can't. There's some things I can't touch. Hey, ah, ah. God is with me. Yes, God is with me. There's certain things I can't do. I don't. I don't want to hurt the Holy Spirit. I. I, I don't want to hurt. Yes, because I know He won't leave me. But I can hurt the Holy Spirit. Yes, I can hurt the Holy. But I know He won't leave me. So there's something I will not do in order for me not to hurt. Oh Jesus, oh Jehovah, ye kabasheke. Ye kabasheke. Jesus, thank you, thank you, Lord. If we go to uh, the, uh, Hebrews 7, verse 27, verse 24. Hebrews, still on chapter 7, verse 24. Hmm. Hmm. Verse 24, the Bible says, But he he because he continues forever hmm. he my bible says but he yes he because he continues who is he? Jesus. Ha. Let me clarify Jesus because he Jesus continues forever has an unchangeable priesthood has an unchangeable priesthood verse 25 yes Therefore, he is also able to save the ra. Therefore, he is also able <laughs> to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him. Since he always lives to make intercession for them. Ha! Ha! Wa, 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 wa. Yes! He is, he, he rose. He died on the cross. Let's go back even more. He carried that cross. He carried those burdens. Yes, those burdens that you have. He carried it on his back. Hmm. He reached to the top of the mountain. Gogota. Gogota, yeah? He got to the top of Gogota. He, 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 they lifted him up. They didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know what they were doing. They lifted him up, yes, on that mountain. He, yay. <laughs> and he took everything, everything, all your burdens. So the Bible says he saved the uttermost. Ah, he, or Reba. Therefore, he is also able, verse 25, therefore he's also able to save to the uttermost, to the uttermost. 
those who come to God through him. Those who come to God through him. So the way is only through Jesus. Oh, the way is only through Jesus. For when you accept him as your Lord and Savior, that is the way for you to get to God. Hmm. Hey, the way is only through Jesus. Hmm. And he, after he had risen, after he went up, seated on the right hand side of the Father, as I've said before, his work did not finish all. Huh? He's intercessing for me. He's intercessing after suffering, after being beaten. Now he has been lifted. He has been risen. And he, 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 he's not going to relax. He's not going to relax. He's intercessing for me. He's intercessing for me. This perfect salvation. This perfect God. This perfect lawyer. Perfect in every way. This perfect God. This perfect sacrifice with no blemish. Yeah. So is my victory. Perfect and total. Perfect and permanent. Perfect and total permanent victory in the Lord. My victory. I am victorious. I am a champ champion. Yes. I am a champion. Yes, I am. I am. Hmm. As I am seated before you, I am a champion. Yes. Yes. I am victorious in his name. Yes. <laughs> ha 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 I am victorious in his name this perfect this perfect the bible says it continues so i also must continue to be victorious so i also have to continue to be victorious <laughs> the bible said he continues he continues he said he continues to intercess for me he continues huh, forever the bible even say forever he continues forever and ever and ever and ever to be unchangeable he continues he continues to be my god he continues to be the high priest hey he continues to, to sit on his throne he continues no one can remove him <laughs> yeah. no one can stop him intercessing for me because his con intercession is perfect for me his intercession is perfect for me no one 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 no or two, yes. Let's go to chapter to Hebrews chapter four, the book of Hebrews still, chapter four, verse four. Jesus, hallelujah. The Bible says, yes, the Bible says, For he has for he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in in this way and god rested on the seventh day and all his works and again this place they shall no they shall not enter my rest hmm. 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 Jesus, Jesus. Hmm. He took six days to prepare the world, to prepare everything. On the seventh day, he rested. But I remember, I remember the man of God saying, uh, one of the preaching that uh, God was disturbed from his rest one day. God was disturbed because he had to make, he had to make a garment for Adam. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> My God, his work is always perfect because when he made, he made everything. The Bible said when he had finished his works, hmm, he had finished, he saw that it was good, it was wonderful. He has done his work and it was perfect. Hey, wait, 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 wait. God, you are good. God, you are good. God, you are good. Jehovah, 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 I magnify your name, Jehovah, 
I exalt you, my God, Jehovah. I glorify your name, Jehovah. Ekabashe, Baba. Hallelujah, Jehovah. Hey, verse 6. Since therefore it remains that some must enter it. Ha, you hear? Since therefore it remains that some must enter it. And those who... Those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience. Ha! Huh. Did not enter because of disobedience. Again, he designated a certain day, saying in David, Today, after such a long time, after such a long time as it has been said, Today, if you will hear his voice, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not hark harden your hearts do not harden your hearts verse 8 for if joshua had given them rest then he would not afterward have spoken to an another day if if the rest we had we were given in joshua was complete he would not have sent jesus if the rest that was given in Joshua had been enough that was the salvation that was the deliverance that was the rest that they got if that was enough Jesus would not have come my beloved and sisters therefore they needed to be another one to come they needed to be a, a Jesus to come and save us totally. To come and save us perfectly. To come and save us permanently. <laughs> so uh, our, the salvation we have in Christ is permanent. It cannot be revoked. It is permanent. It cannot be revoked. He will not revoke his salvation. He will not take it away from us. No, Rebo Sheke. As long as we remain in, in him, we remain inside of him, we remain with him. His salvation is perfect. Hallelujah. Jehovah, Jehovah, thank you, Lord. Because he paid the price. He paid the full amount. Can you imagine paying your debt in full? Can you imagine paying what you owe in full? fool this is what gives us the oath this is what gives us the authority this is what gives us the courage to go and fight and drive out and stand up and rebuke and refuse things that are, are, are not going away or hmm, i refuse to fail i refuse hallelujah in the name of jesus i refuse i refuse i refuse in the name of jesus i refuse rebo shake baba this this dick about ungodly thoughts i refuse when you have no debt you will you will have peace. You will live peacefully. When you have no debt, you will live with joy. When you have no debt, my brothers and sisters, you, you, you go on in your life. You will go on happily. You will go on peacefully, living a peaceful life. Because you owe nothing. Because you owe nothing. You know. You know you owe nothing. And you live calmly. And peacefully. And happily. And joyously. And and because of what he has done. Mm -hmm. He says I give you a perfect and joyful salvation. Your cup is filled up to the over to, to the top to the maximum and it overflows in Christ. We have been richly blessed with all sorts of blessings to the maximum to the fullest in Christ. The catch is we have to be in Christ. The catch is the condition is in Christ. The condition is for that fullness is in Christ. Hallelujah. Mm, in Christ we live fully. In Christ we have it all. In Christ, we have a life in abundance. It has been accomplished. Yes, it has been accomplished. Yes, even that thing that you are talking about, even that thing you are praying for, it's already it's already yours. It's already yours. Believe it. 
Believe it and hold it in faith. Believe it and proclaim it in faith. Believe it and shout it. Shout it. Hold up your shield of faith. My brothers and sisters, that shield, yes. The, if you look at the images of the Roman armor, which is the image we are given when they talk about the spiritual armors. The shield is so big uh, and it's made out of metal, so it must have been heavy. Yes, it's like our faith at times. Yes, ah, 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 ah. no, but you have to keep it up. You have to keep up that shield of faith. That shield of faith is through faith. It's by faith that we receive everything. It's by faith that we live. It's by faith, my beloved in the Lord. So hold up that shield. Hold up that shield of faith. Reba shake it. Hold up. Don't let don't drop it. Don't drop it. Yes, it's permanently. It has to remain permanently up. It has to you have to remain victorious. You have to keep up that shield so the arrows don't hit you. You have to keep up that shield so whatever they are throwing, they don't get to you because your shield is covering you. Because your shield is protecting you. Jesus, Jesus, yes. Jesus Almighty, yes. Jesus is Lord, yes. The shield of faith, yes. Hold it up, hold it up. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Is it is Yes, it's what protects you. That is what protects you. Yeah, <laughs> Hi, God. Himself is eternal. Reba Sheke. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 5. Yes, verse 9. We read Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9. Yeah. Uh, the Bible tells us the Whenever Moses' hands were up, they were winning. And when Moses' hands got tired, they were losing. They were losing. They were losing. Uh, Hebrews five chap Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9 says, Yereke Baba. Mm -hmm. And having been perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation. Having been perfect, he is now the author of eternal salvation. So your salvation is eternal. He, he, having been perfect, having found no blemish in him, he was the perfect sacrifice. He was the perfect burning offering. He was the perfect everything. Hmm. And now he gave us an eternal salvation. Eternal salvation. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Moses would get tired. Moses would get tired. He needed Aaron and, and U to help his hands up. But Jesus, Jesus Sika carried it by himself. Jesus uh, cleared the debt all by himself. He, 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 he did not share the burden with anybody. Hmm. They didn't ask for, 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 for anybody else to come and join him on, on the same cross, carry the same burden. No. He died. He rose. He sits by the Father intercessing. He, he, he alone. He alone. He alone. He alone. That's why uh -huh, in my time of praise, in our time of worship, we have to look at the cross. When we lift our eyes up to the cross, he feeds us. 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 Ha, ha. He feeds us our God. Yes, Baba. He feeds us my God. He feeds us. Yes. Mm, the God. Hallelujah. Ha, ha. Hmm. Lord, you are good. If we look at the story of Elisha, where when he, he when he was talking about the army that he wanted his servant to see, he said, The Lord, open his eyes so that he can see so that he can see what i i know because elisha was sure of what he had what he had received the cloak that he received from his mentor the cloak that he received came with divine protection came with uttermost protection that's why he could see the the chariot of horses around him protecting him because at the time uh the king the, the king the king wanted to come the king wanted to come and 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 attack him and and but he was protected he was protected hallelujah my beloved in the lord when you are seated next to an anointed man or woman of god when you when you are receiving 
teaching, when you are receiving blessing, Reba Sheke, you will also receive Uroka Sheke a lot more than you know. Elisha received the protection, the protection, the protection, the chariot of fire, the chariot of horses with fire and camped around him, protected him. So that the king could not capture him. So that the, the army of the Syria could not capture him. Because he was surrounded by protection. Because he was surrounded by protection. Hallelujah. May the Lord open your eyes so that you can see. See ha, the good things so that you can see, so that no one else has to tell you. I had a dream about you. Be careful. I had a dream like this. Know that you yourself, you yourself will see it. You yourself will see it in the name of Jesus. You yourself will see a rabo shake baba in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. It's all only Jesus that carried it alone. It's only Jesus that carried it alone. We, we, we have mentors. We have those that are there to support us. We have intercessors. And Jesus is the perfect intercessor for us. God, you are good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Father. Yes, so our, our victory. So our victory has to be perfect our victory has to be total and and that is only done in christ and that is only done in christ there are two parts of us there are two parts in our life there are two parts my brothers and sisters that we have to be aware of that we have to pay more attention to the spiritual side which is the prayer and the physical side is not all just physical we have to take our time in prayer we have to take our time to listen to the Holy Spirit we have to lend our ear we have to be able to allow that time of quiet to hear the Holy Spirit speak to us the Holy Spirit to manifest to to advise us may the Lord open your eyes so you can you can you can see may the Lord open your ears so you can hear the Holy Spirit speaking yes he speaks yes he would advise you he will tell you certain things you cannot do no don't go no today no don't go out no mm, mm, mm. he gives warnings my brothers and sisters he, blah, blah, blah. Moses was up on the mountain praying while Joshua was out fighting so we have to know those two dimension are very important those two parts in life are very important we have to learn to pray ha huh? we have to learn to pray yes go deep into prayer and then get up and act and then get up and manifest our faith and then get up rebo shake like that woman like that woman huh? this woman that this woman will keep returning this that this daughter of Christ at the end she was given a new identity she was known as the daughter of Christ Hallelujah. She was in her house. She must have been saying to herself, repeating. So she was praying. She was praying. And then after saying what she was saying, if I only touch his robe, I will be healed. She had to go out. She had to step out. She had to make a movement. She had to do an action. So she stepped out and her faith carried her to touch. So after praying, yes, we have to receive the revelation from God. We have to receive the word from God. We pray, yes, we pray. We fast, yes, but we have to step out. We have to step out. Moses was on that mountain praying. Yes, he prayed, he prayed. Ha, but he needed for Joshua to be on the ground with his armor, to be on the ground with his weapon, to be on the ground ready to fight, to be on the ground fighting. So we need to be able to do the two. We need to be able to do the two. There's a time and a place for everything. There's a time for everything. And we have to respect those two. Like we said the last time, we have to have a balance to the two. Yes, our perfect, total and permanent victory comes when these two things are put in place. When we seek the Lord, when we pray, hallelujah, and when we get up and fight and refuse and rebuke and stand up and against and 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 you pray contrary to whatever you see that is not the will of god hallelujah hmm. we also looked at the story of gideon last time 
Mm. Gideon, now Gideon himself, he prepared his battle by, by, uh, by offering, by, by sacrificing, by building an altar. He built an altar, sacrificed, prayed. That was his time. And then he stepped out to go and battle. So we see that we have to first, the first thing we do, yes, is pray. The first thing we do is, yes, glory is, is, is a build an altar to the Lord. The first thing we do, yes, is sacrifice Ikababashek to the Lord. And then we go out, and then we go out, and then we go out, hallelujah. And then we manifest our faith, and then Ikababashek we proclaim claim our victory in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We have to live a perfect, total and permanent victory, my brothers and sisters, my beloved in the Lord. That was our summary for today. A perfect, total victory in Christ. Hallelujah. In Christ. Hallelujah. This message was preached during the day. <clears throat> Sorry. By Pastor Dudu Matadi of the Church Kingdom of God Assembly. And it was preached in our Thursday, which was today, Thursday service during the day. And I am your sister, Mafuta Yanzoi. I'm here for the summary. That was what the Lord had given us for today. We just wanted to share in English so we can all be on the same page, so we can all understand and we can all dive in together. We can all remain in the presence together. We can all learn together by the mercy of the lord jesus may the lord bless each and every single one of you that are watching may the lord bless every single one of you that will watch later glory be to his name we magnify his name i thank the holy spirit for manifesting i thank for the holy spirit for manifesting for for using me for using me yes for speaking through me for leading me in the way that he led hallelujah we give the lord glory hallelujah hallelujah he has done it all he has done it all he has done it all in the name of jesus hallelujah reminds me of the song Ila tuta compli Ila tuta compli yes so you yes upon the cross Ila tuta compli yes yes he had done it all and we are triumphant because he accomplished upon the cross we are victorious yes because he did it yes hallelujah hallelujah he has made us champion he has made us champions yes glory be to him he has made us champion yes hallelujah ah he has made us champion yes yes <laughs> yes he has made me a champion yes yes in the name of jesus may the lord bless you all may the lord bless you all that's all that we had for for today remain blessed remain blessed remain blessed continue to share so that it will bless others continue to pray for us so that we continue to receive the words glory be to the lord of Je lord jesus bye for now